In this first module for the Python beginner course, we're going to talk about how to install new packages and really configure your environment to help you with beginning Python. Uh, Python has many different packages that you can install and use. And I want to just show you some of the uh, a basic one. We're going to be using the Temperature Control Lab, and there is a pip installable package that we can get to install that and start using our device. So if you want to get the files for this, come to this link, the begin Python link on GitHub, and uh, then just get uh, clone or download the files right here. We're just going to download uh, the zip files, and that'll just go to the desktop, and I'll just go ahead and unzip those by extracting all the files. All right, and then we already have our Anaconda uh, installed, so we can use Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to start that up, and uh, then it's going to come to uh, just open up a, uh, the default browser, and I'll just browse to where I extracted those files. All right, this one's going to be the overview. And so it's going to open it up, uh, and here we have the very first one that we're going to be working on. So I'm going to describe, first of all, the project that we're going to do for this class. And in this case, we have some eggs that are in an incubator. And one option is to constantly check the temperature and adjust the heaters manually. Another way is to automate the temperature control by constantly checking the temperature and adjusting the heaters with Python. So we only get one chance to make this right. We want, don't want to do this on actual eggs. So we're going to use the temperature control lab that's a simulator for the incubator. And in this project, we're not going to worry about humidity and turning the eggs, just the temperature control aspects of it. So there's our project. We're going to be uh, working with Python to develop the skills necessary to, uh, to do this. Here's our introduction activity. Every time you see this uh, programmer icon, that means something that you're going uh, to do. Um, every programmer, okay, is going to have these basic background knowledge uh, before they can do something more complex. So what I want you to do is just review these 12 right here and see if you can come up with, you know, uh, try to describe what we're going to be doing in each of these and why each of those may be valuable for the project. All right, and then um, you know, and I'll I'll just go through these because these are uh, solution videos just to help you with that. Okay, the overview of the lesson. We're trying to get the big picture of what's going on with this project. Debugging, how to find those problems in your code. A lot of times, 80% of your time is going to be spent. Uh, trying to resolve uh, either syntax or logical errors in your code, something that's not quite working right. Um, and then we're going to be talking about variables, how to name variables, the different types of variables or objects you can use in Python. Uh, we're going to learn how to print, uh, print some of the intermediary results, and be able to show our progress along the way. Uh, show what the computer is doing to the person at the console. We'll talk about some of the classes and objects, some of the libraries that you can import, and uh, be able to use uh, these packages that have been ex developed by many, many different developers and a whole community of those who are, are working on extending the base Python functionality with other classes or objects that you can use uh, to uh, be able to manipulate data or, or visualize data, other things. Okay, we're going to be creating our own functions as well, and that's going to be useful so that we can reuse code, and perhaps we need to do something every second. We can have a function that we call, and we don't have to rewrite the code. Uh, you know, if we want to run for 60 cycles, uh, we can just have a function that we call 60 times. All right, here's a loop. So for example, in our temperature control, we want to maybe monitor the temperature every second. And we're just going to loop through the same code every second. 
Okay, input is going to be important. Uh, printing is the output to the console, but the input is going to be coming from the operator to tell the program what to do next. Uh, and, and we can request input uh, from somebody who is using the program. We have if statements as well. Those help us branch and do different statements or different, uh, different parts of the code based on certain conditions. We'll be talking about lists. Those are going to be collections of different objects, variables, other things in Python. And then tuples, um, those are going to be like lists, but there's a, a key differentiator there. Uh, and these will help us store information that we can then use for data visualization or other things. We also have dictionaries. Um, you know, we're going to be talking about those as well, where we can look up a key, and then you'll have a value associated with that key, similar to how you'd look up a word in a dictionary to find a definition. We'll have plotting as well, be able to visualize our data. So we're going to put together all of these things for this project of developing an application that can maintain a certain temperature for this egg incubator. And this is a very concrete uh, project. It helps us, you know, as we're working through these individual steps, it helps us see the bigger picture and how we're putting everything together. Now, um, it's best to follow these lessons and these steps because the later lessons build upon the information from the prior lessons. The very first thing that we're going to show you how to do is install a package. This could be any package that you might need for your project. We're going to be doing the TC Lab module, and then we'll just test the LED on this. Um, this little LED right here um, is going to be, we're going to turn that one on and flash it for a period of time. And uh, we'll need to pip install TC Lab. So the very first thing that you'll need in Python when you're running code is to be able to install different packages and make sure you have all of them. Anaconda comes with many of them. But if you need an additional one, if there's an error in your code that some package doesn't exist, then you can install that. And one of the easiest ways to do that, I'll just go ahead and insert a cell below. Um, is to run a command from Anaconda that can either be conda install, something like TC Lab. Now, a lot of times the package will be either in conda or in pip. Uh, and TC Lab is going to be in with pip. Okay, pip is probably a more uh, popular package manager that's for all Python distributions, but Conda is only for Anaconda. So I'll just go pip install TC Lab, the exclamation mark in front of it just means that I'm running a command from the command line. And if you see that you have a permission problem here, okay, it's uh, if it says there's an error, then just add the dash dash user. Okay, it just means you don't have administrative privileges on your computer and you just have to install it locally just for your user. And this is not your username, it's just dash dash user. Okay, whatever your username might be. I uh, just do dash dash user here. Okay, so that's the, the very simplest way on how to install a package. It's gonna go out and collect that and install it. And if you run it again, okay, it's going to say that um, it's already satisfied, it's already there. Um, and, uh, you know, if you see an error about something like Pi Serial, we're going to need that one as well. So just going to do Pi Serial uh, dash dash user if you need the dash dash user, and then do TC Lab. All right, there we go. And uh, those are all satisfied. So now I can go ahead and delete this cell. I don't need to do that anymore. Next time I open up. Anaconda or uh, Jupyter Notebook, that's already going to be there. So if I just hit uh, DD two times, it's going to delete this cell. Okay, just deleted that. That's just a shortcut key for deleting a cell in Jupyter Notebook. 
There are also other shortcuts as well. Uh, if you just come to um, Command Palette, you can see all of the different commands in Jupyter, and it'll show you the shortcut key as well. Okay, delete cells uh, are right there. All right, uh, so this code down below, it says uh, try to import TC Lab, and if you can't, then go out and install PySerial and TC Lab, and then try to import TC Lab. Now, if that doesn't work, it means you might have to restart your kernel. Now, let me just show you how to do that. Uh, in some of these exercises, if uh, you have a bug and your serial connection is still open, you might have to come here to kernel and then just restart. Okay? Do you want to restart the current kernel? And just click restart. Okay, so now it has restarted, and then I can run this again. I can just do control enter, and it will try to run this, and it's going to connect to the temperature control lab. It'll show me how it's connected, and it flashed the LED for five seconds and then turned it off. Okay, so it was 100%. It sleeps for five seconds, and then it turns off the LED and then closes the connection to the lab. Okay, so this is a very basic, one of the basic commands that we'll be doing for our lab uh, on the temperature control lab. Um, now, there are also separate Jupyter Notebook files to help with the TC Lab installation. And there's a frequently asked question site for setup and installation. If you have any questions about that, there are many different, um, you know, both in MATLAB and in Python, uh, you know, example code and troubleshooting. Uh, you know, so for example, if you connect uh, like this, it's incorrect. You know, many different ways that students have managed to do this incorrectly, and so we've tried to put this uh, a very extensive help uh, with questions and answers here on on this site to be able to help if uh, if you need help with the installation. Now, one other question I've gotten is, um, what if I don't have a temperature control lab? So let me show you a resource for that. Uh, this is um, apminer.com slash CHE436. Okay, and if you go down on the side, you can go down to um, the physical Arduino lab right here. And I think I'm zoomed in too far and then zoomed out too far. Okay, uh, and then just come to this link right here to the article and it will show you some instructions if you want to build this yourself and you can't, for whatever reason, order it. Uh, here's the parts list and there's even links here to be able to order those if you'd like to get those individual parts yourself and do the breadboard with the Arduino and you can have your own LED and heaters and temperature sensors. So if you don't have a temperature control lab, aren't able to get one, then I'd recommend uh, these instructions. Otherwise, just come to Amazon uh, Temperature Control Lab, and uh, hopefully it'll show up as an image or a picture there. Uh, let me just see if I can go to that. Okay, it finally made it there. All right, Temperature Control Lab, um, and you can order it off of Amazon for this uh, project. All right, uh, so there it is. Um, you, know, you will need a copy of this for most of the exercises, so I recommend you go out and uh, either build one yourself or uh, get one off of Amazon. All right, so that's an overview of the course, uh, these 12 different modules that we're going to be going through. We'll start with the next one with debugging and then go down through the rest of these. Uh, and then at the very end, we're going to do a final project to put everything together into one video, or into one uh, final project.